What is up guys? This is the Karmic DF from TikTok. Today is a viewer question. What do we do and how do we understand or begin to understand why people are mean to us as we're going through our spiritual development? Why are we losing friends? Why are people being very judgmental towards us? Why are they being mean? This is stuff that we may not be used to, especially if we come from a family or some sort of dynamic where we're used to being the givers, where we're used to being the ones that just listen, that are there to support. So the first main reason is you are changing the dynamic with a lot of people, and we will start with that one. And before we get into this, if you guys can just like, comment, share, subscribe, let me know what it is that you guys need so that I can continue helping you as we move forward through this ascension. Because the world itself is really hectic, right? And we are living in a state of chaos. So instead of competing, instead of being alone and trying to get it together, let's do this together. Once you've figured out that you're an empath, light worker, whatever you'd like to self-identify as, what you're going to realize is that you have this soul calling that you have to change, you have to adapt because you were meant to be here at this specific point in time. We all have an ego. We all know this. The first seven years of our life, we are based purely on ego. We are learning our surroundings. We are learning our reality or what our parents are teaching us as reality, what society teaches us as reality. Once you've figured out that this is your calling, this is your purpose, you realize you're an empath, whatever you want to identify as, you realize that there's this intuitive nudge that you have to change from the inside out. It's like, like I'm seeing like a glove, like turning inside out. You are completely, okay, now I'm getting a download. It's like, you're learning how to be raw. You're learning how to be authentic. You're learning how to be your true self in spite of what anybody else has to say. And you have to remember that generationally speaking, we have always been taught that we should not be ourselves, that we should follow a line, that we should follow society, that we should suck it up, not have emotions. I've said this time and time again. That is what society has taught us to do. And many people fell in line until the pandemic, you know, people spend all that time at home starting to realize, hey, I'm miserable in this aspect of my life. I'm miserable in that aspect of my life. What can I do instead of feeling like I need to just feel sorry for myself? What are my options instead of having this victim mentality? And again, like I've said in prior videos, I would never want to talk down on somebody who has been a victim of something. I've been a victim of plethora of things and I get it but you do have to come to an understanding that these things happen for you not to you I mean if, if it's assault or something like that we won't even get into that but you have to understand that these are either blessings or lessons and what can we learn from these lessons if they're not blessings so as you're beginning to figure out who your true self is and you're starting to really own that that's when people start to get mean right the there's a lot of reasons for this but we'll start with the easier ones you have played a role in their life for probably a long period of time and you are changing the dynamic and a lot of people don't feel comfortable with that especially if they're not comfortable in their own skin if they're not comfortable and happy in their own life you have to ask yourself especially coming from a place where you were meant to be in a spiritual place did you overgive? Did you become somebody who was always there to support other people? Meanwhile, they weren't supporting you. You flip the dynamic. Of course, they're going to get mad. They don't understand that you finally decided to choose yourself because you were known as the giver, as the one that was always there. You were the friend to go to. No one ever actually decided that like, hey, maybe that person needs somebody too. You know, like they kind of just assume that you, you got it all figured out, you know? And when you change that dynamic and you add boundaries and you say, hey, like, I realize that I can't help you if I'm not in the best place for myself. People will start to get reactive because they feel that you are attacking them. They feel like you're judging them because remember, we live in a society where it's like, go, 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 grow, grow, grow. So if you and your friend who used to be on equal playing fields, you're now growing, you're ascending, you're trying to be emotionally intelligent and your friend, whoever the person is on the other side is not trying to meet you at that level. They are going to think that you're out to judge them, that you're out to get them, that you think you're better than them. Even, which is so ironic, 
Even if you've come from a bad place, I can't tell you how many people started to hate me when I figured out my life. But if y'all have been following me for a while, I was an alcoholic. I, I've done a lot of stuff, you know? So like, even if you came from a lower place, the moment you up level yourself because of the society we live in, it trains our subconscious minds to think that other people are a threat. Do you ever notice that like, you can have a really good day, you could be moving yourself up but like somebody else you see that's doing better than you and then you get triggered by that because there's always work to be done on yourself there's always work to be done when it comes to everybody and unfortunately now your tasks with triggering the people around you that have decided to stay asleep you're going through this it is so important to remember that anything that anybody has to say to you is a projection of their own insecurities of their own not being able to understand that there is more to life than what we see than what meets the eye I mean we grew up like between you can either be Christian or you could hate everything to do with religion right like that's really all we ever saw at least where I come from I don't know about y'all there's like some Baptist church around stuff that's not the point anyway the point is some people are meant to be a chapter in your life and as you're going through this spiritual awakening you're going to have to start to accept that because you're going to lose people that you didn't even think that you would lose you're going to lose family members if you're in a relationship during the spiritual awakening there's a good chance that relationships not going to work out especially if you learn this stuff and they don't want to grow with you it's going to be really hard friends family everything because they are used to the version of you prior to the awakening they don't know the new version of you you don't know the new version of you right but you're changing and because you're changing you're a completely different person you may have the same name you you might not even dress the same anymore i know i don't dress the same though when i wasn't spiritual but people will no longer be able to mesh with you because they will not be on your same path they will not be on your same energetic vibration if you are love and light and you're trying to be a positive person and you don't want to take down other people and you're trying not to have a victim mentality and you're trying to see that like you know this is shitty but what can I do about it instead of having that attitude of I'm trapped and there's nothing I can do now you're changing how you handle things and people in your life that don't don't want to handle their own things will be mad at you because they feel like you think you're better and it may be just subconscious because you know we don't talk about our feelings as a society we're finally starting to slowly get there but as you're up leveling you're going to trigger everybody around you because everybody feels the need to be their best self in a world where we live on competition as you continue along your path I know it sounds simpler than it is but don't take it personal. Start to make it muscle memory when someone attacks you, when someone triggers you, anything like that, to be able to step back and ask why. Because honestly, it's meant to teach you something. Every time you're being triggered, it is meant to teach you something inside of you that needs to be healed, that needs to be fixed. And because you're awakening to this, you can handle that. You can go above and be the observer instead of being the reactor, which is how we usually handle things, especially, especially, what are we, two years into the pandemic now? Everybody's stressed out. Everybody is feeling scared. Everybody's wondering where their next meal's coming from, if they're going to be alive tomorrow you know they put it into us to be afraid for so long so you have to understand that everybody's flight or flight is a lot higher right now and if you are coming out and you're doing your damn thing and you refuse to be a negative person if you refuse to be like yeah like these 75 things in my life suck right now because you'd rather focus on the five things that are going well. That's the attitude that you should have. That's the attitude that we all should have because we know that words are spells and we put it into the atmosphere and whatever we want, we have to be in an alignment too. But going back to people that are mean to you, they're gonna continue being mean to you if they don't want to up-level themselves. If they are still happy being unhappy, if they like it better when they're miserable and they have people to focus on them, because that's something that I used to do too. I used to be someone that was really, really hurt. No one really talked to me. I didn't know how to open up. I didn't know how to have feelings out loud, you know? And I didn't really know how to, you know, 
be honest with myself. And so what I would do is like, I would have these moments where I'm having, you know, a shit show, panic attack, acting wild. And that's when I would get people to pay attention to me. You know, it's kind of like the inner child wound. When you are someone that's of ego, when you're constantly in a negative frame of mind, when you have that victim mentality, when you don't want to change, when you like where you are, not necessarily like where you are, but when you don't want to move past it because it's easier then those are the people that you are not going to align with anymore. And don't take that so personally because it wasn't that long ago that you couldn't do the same thing, right? Like we have to remember where we came from. I wasn't always spiritual. I wasn't always somebody who could see the brighter side of things to choose to be a more positive and more influential type of person to help bring up the energy of the collective. I wasn't always like that. And I'm assuming that for a lot of you, you weren't always like that like that. And once you change that dynamic, either there are going to be people that love you unconditionally and will continue to support you, even if they think you're weird, or maybe you end up having it in common, or maybe they think that the shit you got to say is interesting, even if they don't agree with what your beliefs are. But you have to realize that some people love you conditionally. Some people love you for a chapter in your life. Some people love you when you're like them. And a lot of times you're like them because you haven't healed your own stuff yet. So as you're moving through your spiritual awakening, like I've said time and time again, and we're going to leave it at this, don't take it personal. When they start to get mad, it is projection. When they start to get feisty, when they start to want to be rude to you, that is projection because you've leveled up and they think that you are a threat. And that's not to say that you're better than them. Never, ever be humble. Always stay humble. You know what I'm saying? But that's how they're feeling. They're getting triggered because they're wondering, why can't I do that? Why can't I up-level myself? Why can't I take chances? Why can't I leave this toxic ex? Like everybody else is starting to leave their toxic exes the past couple of years, right? Like not everybody has it that easy. Not everybody can say to themselves, I'm going to let go of these toxic things so that I can focus on me. That's a lot of bravery. That's a lot of strength. And if you can do that, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a lot of credit. And when someone else comes in your way and they got something negative to say, just remember all of the work that you put into yourself in order to be able to love yourself and still give kindness in such a negative and dark, chaotic energy and world right now. Be proud of yourself. And remember that when someone has something negative to say, and you know that you're doing the best you can in your own life to be the best version of yourself, the only thing you have to remember is they're being triggered. What does this have to do with me? Is this something I can learn from? And if not, let me just walk away because I've realized that life is more important than petty bickering so that I can feel like I'm friends with people, that I can feel like I'm close to people, you know? We don't know for sure who's coming into our lives next. We don't really know how this works. We're all kind of waiting for a soul family to come in, soul tribes to come in, and that's how this is going to work moving forward. I've already met people that are way healthier than the people that I used to hang out with once I decided that I didn't want to do the unhealthy things anymore because, again, we are all made of energy. We are all vibrational matches as we move up. So keep focusing on making the best life for yourself. Keep remembering that anything that anybody has to say is simply a projection of their own insecurities and it has nothing to do with you. And the more you remember that, the better your life is going to be, the calmer you're going to feel, the more comfortable you're going to be in your own skin, and the more you, I, and everybody else, we're going to help the collective grow to be healthy mentally, physically, spiritually. We need you. I need you guys. You can do this. People suck, and that just is what it is. And that's the only way to go by it. You know, when someone rides your ass on the highway, when someone has an attitude at a grocery store, when your mom is a bitch, you know, whatever it be, just remember, you know, they're probably not happy in their own lives. And that's not my problem. My problem is my life. My problem is what am I going to do to make the best out of the world that I have? What am I going to do to make an impact, to make my life something that I want to look forward to? What am I going to do to choose me, to choose us, to choose the world around us? And what am I going to do to make sure that nobody gets in the way? No ego, no negativity, no nothing. Because I promise you, they are only in your way to help you push into a stronger version of yourself. 
yourself and you're already killing it. So don't think too hard on that. Don't be too upset that somebody's got something to say. You are being brave. You are being vulnerable and you are choosing to stop the cycle, to stop the cycle of toxicity, to stop the cycle of being cruel to other people because we don't know how to love ourselves. You are doing the work and you should be proud and nothing else should matter. If you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to leave it in the comments. Otherwise, I love you guys so much. Stay safe. Keep fighting for yourself. Remember to transcend, to ascend. 5D, baby, here we come.